I wake up at around 7 a.m. or so. I head to the front door and have a look outside, but then I remember I'm actually self-quarantined, so this is probably as far as I should go. I take a good breath of fresh air and unfortunately head back inside. I then do all the standard morning things, eat my breakfast, take a shower, etc. I didn't include all that because I couldn't think of any original montage to create, so I hope this recording of a box of cereal will suffice. I head into my makeshift office from home slash YouTube studio, and I load up my work environment. For my current project, I'm using Jupyter Notebooks for exploratory data analysis. I'm writing the source code in Spider and I'm using the terminal in Mac for managing my virtual environment and for version control via GitHub. I then pop on a lo-fi Spotify playlist, link in the description if you're interested, and I get to work. Now the first thing that I always do before I modify any code is I do a git pull. And basically what this does is if anybody else working on this project has made any changes, this will download them onto my computer so that I know I'm working with the latest version. And it's really important to do this because if anybody else has made changes and you don't download them onto your computer, you're gonna make changes to a different version to them and ultimately things are just gonna get pretty messy quite quickly. So my work this morning is to experiment with different machine learning models and assess their performance. And it's a long story, but basically our current current client is trying to identify faults in metal tubes, uh, specifically tubes called heat exchangers, and these are tubes that are used in things like fridges, uh, in power plants, in car engines, and various other types of appliances to heat or cool things. I'm not gonna go into details about the project itself, it's fairly esoteric, but I think the main takeaway is just actually how diverse the work that you can do as a data scientist. Basically, you can analyze anything where there is data, and because so much stuff is being recorded as data now, there's really a, a pretty broad range of questions that you can ask and try and answer using data and using machine learning models. The measurement that we're using to quantify how well our models are performing is something called the root mean squared error or the RMSC. This is a pretty common metric for regression models and I'll leave some links in the description for people who are interested in reading more about that. After playing around with different model variations to see which perform best, I store these models as what's called a pickle file uh, so that I can then load those later so that they can be tested on our holdout test set. And this is standard practice when testing models is that you will have data that the model has never seen before to make sure that it does then perform well on that data because in the real world you're going to have data where you don't necessarily know the outcome and you're going to be counting on your model to tell you what that outcome might be. And if you're interested in understanding some of the code that you can see in my notebook here, I'm creating a few tutorials for this at the moment. So I will share a link at the top of the screen here. Uh, if it's not there yet, then check out in the description or subscribe to be notified when I do then release those videos. So after playing around with different models for an hour or two, I then have a morning meeting, which is called a morning stand up. And basically this is just a quick check-in meeting with the team. We outline what we're gonna work on in the day, any obstacles that might arise during the day. After the stand up, I then spend the rest of the morning working on code. Because I'm in quite a productive mood, I decide this morning to also record a code slash study with me session for my YouTube channel. So I prop up a camera and record myself. And I actually find this really helpful. Uh, having the camera there as accountability keeps me on track. So I have a productive few hours. And by lunchtime, I have a couple of candidate models, uh, which I'm excited to test out. So then I take a break and have some lunch. Make myself a sandwich and a salad, partly because I'm feeling healthy and partly because they're quite quick to make. And while eating, I decide to watch a lecture recording from UCL, which is the university in London that I'm currently enrolled in as a student. They have a platform where all their lectures are recorded and uploaded, which is pretty awesome because then I can watch them at double speed at a later date. And the lecture I'm watching today was on bioinformatics, uh, which is a really interesting area that I'm learning a lot about at the moment, uh, which essentially is at the interface of the human body and coding and information processing. After watching the lecture, I experienced a bit of a postprandial slump as the blood is diverted from my brain to my gut. I decided to start reading a book on my Kindle, and the book that I read is something called Pragmatic Programming, uh, a book that was introduced to me recently. But then I start to flag a little bit, so I decide I'm actually going to watch a video on my phone. And I remember that it was a pretty cool live stream the previous day from some big dogs uh, of AI and medicine, so I decided to watch that instead. This is the Smart Toilet that was just published earlier this month from Stanford. The uh, person who I thought was interesting to respond was Jan LeCun, who, uh, as you know, invented the convolutional uh, nets, and he wrote um, that uh, they're going down the toilet for the good of humanity, literally, not figuratively. And I get a pretty big shock when I see that a paper I published recently was mentioned in one of the presentations by a doctor that I really look up to a lot. So this gave me a pretty big ego boost, and of course I immediately screenshotted this to show to my family, and they all politely pretended to care. On the whole, I thought it was a pretty awesome live stream and I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's interested in applications of AI and medicine. Uh, it's still actually available on YouTube, so I'll link that also in the description. 
So in the afternoon, I have a couple more meetings, and then I use the remainder of the afternoon to work on some slides for a presentation that we're giving later that week. Do we have a demo notebook of all the updated, like, latest functions? So pretty much the whole afternoon is spent either in meetings or preparing this presentation. And I think one thing that a lot of my friends think I spend most of my time doing is writing code, when actually I spend a pretty good proportion of my time, probably more than half, working on other things such as communicating the results of my findings and also trying to understand exactly what the problem is that the client wants us to work on at any moment in time. And this afternoon I decided that I really wanted to step up my presentation game. Uh, so I found a website called beautiful.ai and I used that to make some, if I do say so myself, pretty aesthetically pleasing presentations. What I particularly liked is you can just drop in stock photos very quickly without having to try and search on the internet for them. And it also does all the animations automatically and, and makes things look pretty slick. And then I had a group session where we discussed any issues that come up in our work and gave each other advice on how we might solve them. And to be honest, this was one of the highlights of the day because it was pretty much the closest I came to socializing outside the members of my own household during this current coronavirus quarantine period. And after spending a little bit more time on the presentation, I decided that I've done enough data science work for the day. I then spent a bit of time playing around with a green screen that I recently bought for a video series I'm planning to record uh, on coding tutorials. I then did some evening workouts with my partner. We've recently started a high intensity interval training regime. We tried all the different free ones on YouTube and then we settled on a particular trainer called Hannah Eden because she was the one who uh, pushed you most intensely and, and that's what we, uh, we felt we would really benefit from. And after that I had some dinner. I had a video call with a friend called Ollie Burton who is a YouTuber and a medical student and he makes videos helping people get into medical school. And by the time I finished that it was getting pretty late so I read a book for a little bit and then decided to call it a night. Ready for another exciting day of homeworking as a data scientist. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're someone who's interested in learning more about data science, I've made various other videos on this and I've written some blog posts, so feel free to check those out. I'll leave all the links in the description below and have a nice day.